Tesla actually is a Chinese uh, IC company. We founded in 1997. And uh, we, we uh, let's say, adopt so-called IDM business model, which means we have design, we have a fab. Okay. It's not, we are not a fabulous company. We are everything we can do in-house. But of course, for certain product, uh, we also go use other foundries. Okay. If our in-house fab doesn't support, because we have quite broad uh, product portfolios. Okay. So for this uh, particular let's say LED uh, driver or controller product, we do everything in-house. So you make every component in-house? Uh, for this particular family of a product, actually every chip, a controller every driver. Chip. Okay. You have a controller IC, you yes. have a MOSFET. Okay. We produce both these in-house okay. and we package it in. So make the complete uh, product. And what is the speciality about this driver that you have brought, this LED driver? If you talk about the volume, uh, let's say put in the uh, asset first. Okay. Many in China. I think okay. China supply. You, I, I guess something like eighty percent of worldwide demand. Oh, okay. So they sh make the LED uh, bulb applied whatever kind of product shipped to the whole world. Okay. India I think is the second biggest market after China. Okay. But now I'm talking about I think not consuming product, it's okay. producing. But eventually light it's uh, it's uh, in it's all of those with population. So you will be big. Right. Right? That's the reason you see uh, but in China it's kind of, you can say, in the worldwide LED driver suppliers, we are top two. Okay. Uh, one, two, right now I think we are in the second position, in terms okay. of volume. <laughs> but in India, it's a different story. We have to admit, we come to India a bit late, okay. but not too late. Okay. There are two companies, or two competition, our competition uh, in India, uh, they have been in the market, uh, working here for the past few years. So they are, I think, combined the market share for these two probably 80 percent. India market share. Uh, okay, I mean, they, they get what they they work for. Right. So we come late, and we we the company had a discussion about the India market because we are already. It's a big, already in the top two supplier position in China. Then we look at the, the business, the whole world. Which one we have to go next? The India, since it is the second largest market, and we say, okay, let's do India. Now we committed to do business in India, in the LED area. Of course, Indian market is a little bit different if we compare uh, the, the China Chinese market. Market. I'm talking about technical requirement perspective. Okay. Actually, I think your government is doing a very good thing okay. uh, in a sense to push or to introduce LED into Indian market, the, all the tender practice. Uh, because uh, it's guided, we will speed up the LED, let's say, uh, not a revolution, but a transition from the CFL, the old energy saving lights, into LED. It will help you in a few different areas. First, it helps you immediately have energy saving. I think that will remove your country, the national burden of demand for additional energy. But don't you think that uh, there is a, from the government's end, government is pushing on to the lower price of the products? Okay. Yes. And uh, which is a requirement because people in India are of course looking for low, yes. uh, you know, Correct. price products. Correct. But then, uh, isn't that affecting the quality and the main manufacturing end? Because manufacturers are not yet ready to 
uh, you know, come with the product with that, they cannot actually because uh, with the components that are coming, everything they have to uh, bring from different countries, they have to get uh, import them, then they have to the assembly takes uh, some of the you know cost is involved in assembly, then manpower is required, everything. Correct. And uh, when all of this are combined together, the charge of making a bulk is so high that they cannot actually provide that bulk at a lower price. So with government introducing the low price bulbs, isn't it affecting, you know, the... I have to say, you bring the point, I think it's a valid point. I think all the companies are joining or let's say uh, participate in this uh, tender business. In the end, they make their own calculations. No, program, no company want to make a loss-making business, right? right? So, within their limit, they were tried to do, uh, to get the tender. Now, whether you see, I think as long as there are people still participating in the tender business, no matter what the price it is, means it's still a market price. It means a company still wants to do it. If one day there's no company want to participate, that means maybe the tender target the cost the price will be too low because nobody wants to do it. At this moment, uh, we do feel it's, it's like a chain eh? because uh, the cost pressure is from the, the buff or company first. It will pass on to component supplier like us. Right. For sure. Now we face huge cost pressure. Right. If you look at the LED chip and the LED driver pricing over the last two years, it's like a cliff. Okay. Uh, but still, it is a business because sometimes you don't purely look at the day. You also have to look longer because the LED will, you know, but once it's there, it will be there for years and years. Right. So everybody should try to find all the measures, ways to reduce cost. Uh, I believe everybody eventually will find the balance point to stay there. Maybe you don't make a big uh, profit, but at least uh, try to survive or keep the business. That's I, something I believe will happen. So uh, with these LED drivers, yes. can you tell me the specific technical uh, difference that Continue. difference or yeah? There are, uh, yeah, we learned that uh, uh, from the past uh, few months when we visit uh, major customers in India. Uh, that it's indeed uh, a particular requirement in India, especially on the. THD, which is basically measure the distortion. Okay. Your government has in India, at least for all the tender business I know, they do put a very specific requirement. Compared to the other part of the world, that is uh, a little bit at the higher, higher requirement. Because in India, you see, I think normally now it's talking about the 15%, but for the coming tenders, they may even ask in 10%. Uh, where in other part of the world, 20% uh, is okay. Oh. Now, hey, I don't know uh, what's the reason behind your government. Let's say for the time they make such a request. Uh, but from a technical point of view, of course it's good. The only thing is any stranger technical requirement will bring some cost. Now that's the only difference. Now how you're going to absorb it, that's a different story. That's why we made a special IC, try to meet the requirement, the requirement. in the same time offer the total solution, but still competitive. You cannot say I, any techniques you normally you can solve, can be solved. The only thing at what cost. Right. So you have to offer a solution which meet, can meet the requirement, yet in the same time, you still provide a reasonable competitive cost. Uh, that's something. And for India, let's say some ICs we bring over to India, especially this baby, 
it's really it's born only two weeks, less than two weeks ago when we had the physical IC. I mean the design changed maybe a bit early, but we only get that IC back two weeks ago and we quickly made the demo board and test it. Wow. And we bring to here and we try to offer to. Uh, so, uh, what's the difference between isolated and non isolated current driver ICs? Actually, in general, people think isolated is more safe. Why? Because the lifeline is isolated by a. Uh, okay, here you can see. Uh, actually, whenever you see a transformer, mm -hmm. physically you can see this life line is not the link to the DC part. It's, it's, the energy actually is a coupling because of the transformer coming in. In that sense, this part, you don't connect in DC. Because of the transformer. You're not a direct leader. But what is the importance of this isolated uh, constant current driver as compared to you know the non-isolated ones? If we put the very straightforward, the non-isolated, you don't need the transformer. It means okay. cheaper. Okay. Force-wise, it's much better. It doesn't necessarily mean it's dangerous. Depend how you use it. If you design in the right way, you still can use. And nowadays. Uh, it's quite popular in other parts of the world. We but use still, what, would you, what would you say would be a better option so as to uh, you know, work with? Will it be an isolated IC driver that should be used or a non-isolated one that should be used? We, we don't make that uh, decision ourselves. We provide all the solutions for both. We leave cust that question to the customer to decide. The customer may judge, if their end customer can accept that, they still can meet all the safety, regulation, whatever. Okay. But when you got the cost pressure, they normally go that is the solution. So with cost pressure, they accept this one. And if they don't have any cost pressure, then they may yeah, accept a, this one. But what would be a better option? Because you being from a you know a company that actually manufactures these uh, driver rights, yes. so you know better that which one would be a better option to choose. Forget about the uh, cost. Okay. Purely from safe point of view, isolated is better. Okay. Safety point. Of, view. of course, then it's uh, more costly. Then. People, let's say, to develop non isolated. If you handle it in the correct way, not just uh, for the circuit, including the bubble installation, all the things, it is still safe. You can meet your all the things. You are assuming all things have been done in the right way. Then. You still can use that, and in the same time, you benefit the lower cost and the same. However, in general, people were thinking, whenever a customer has a chance to touch, it's all about the human safety. Right. Whenever you need to change a bubble by yourself, theoretically, this is much safer. No matter how, you know, in fact, yeah, no matter how effort you put to prevent all the things. You never know. A particular let's say isolated glue if it's uh, somehow low quality in the batch. You are exposed kind of risk. For example. But in general but the, uh, having said all of this, having I have to tell you, if you purely talk about the quantity today, this it's, um, I don't know how many uh, uh, times more than this. Okay. Cost pressure. So the thing more. is this, whereas quality, if you are going for quality, then this is the one that will be better. Yeah, purely talk about, yeah, quality. It's mainly on the safety yeah, concerns. Yeah, it's mainly on the safety concerns. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you. We just emphasize the train, at least we say in China, it's all goes to this direction. From uh, the lighting manufacturers. And what I think, do you see in India? What train do you see in India currently? I think uh, gradually you may also move to the direction because of cost pressure.
the cost pressure. Because some people are always thinking they can control all of the things. Actually, it's true. If you do all the things right, it's okay. You still meet all the safety standards. That's no problem. But you have to really make that happen. And uh, yeah, I mean, India, I mean, a market is a market. Nowadays, it's uh, we call it a globalization, right? Right. So eventually, if you see everybody else is doing this way, you have to ask, why should I? Not yeah, doing the same thing. Like. And then, uh, you may you may raise a few concerns and people address that. For us, it's not that easy. We basically have a full family. Yeah. It's a leave it to the customer which way you, you choose. Right. Well, based on their customer demands, what can be accepting criteria, they will make a choice. We, we, we only provide In the end, it's all customer or you can call it the market to decide what they want.